Well, some students in Groton took on an interesting project to farm raise fish. And now, believe it or not, they're working to actually turn a little bit of a profit. News 8's Tina Detell says they had to get a bill passed before they could go into business. It's not every day students find themselves measuring rainbow trout. Then again, it's not every day a class project turns into big business. The rainbow trout, we're processing them first because they don't have the spikes on the dorsal fin, so they're a little easier to handle. This fish story begins last year when students at the Marine Sciences Magnet High School in Groton began to raise trout and tilapia in these environmentally controlled tanks. Then they decided to try to sell them to a wholesaler. To see the kids get excited in the civics aspect of how a bill comes to law, go up to the Capitol, be able to testify, and now the bill is passed by the governor, and now we're here today. It's, it's very exciting. This is a learning experience all around. Not only are these students learning how to raise these fish, but also how to handle them. Yeah, they're slippery when wet. Senator Andrew Maynard, who helped push the bill through, also helped out today. I, I have a lot of training uh, up at the Capitol. We, I, it's, it's, the fish are only a little slipperier than some of my colleagues. He kids, of course. Grossman Seafood says it usually can only get tilapia from overseas. I just thought, what a, what a great idea to uh, go from tank to table and have a local product, um, especially with the kids. All of hard work is paid off. The students are already expanding their product line. Striped bass and oysters are next. All profits go back into these tanks. In Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.